Sands. For nearly two weeks, jurors have been hearing what happened in this gated Florida community. The night George Zimmerman went on patrol as a neighborhood watch coordinator and encountered 17-year-old Trayvon Martin. This guy looks like he's up to no good or he's on drugs or something. Police dispatchers in a phone call told Zimmerman to back off. Are you following him? Yeah. Okay, we don't need you to do that. And then... <laughs> there was a fight. Trayvon Martin lay dead. George Zimmerman claimed it was self-defense. And for a time, there were no criminal charges. No justice, no peace! After angry protests, the state charged Zimmerman with murder. We got a young boy and a young girl being drunk out! Race is uh, unfortunately still a very close to the surface issue in this case. Jennifer Page has been a prosecutor and is now a criminal defense attorney. The prosecution and the police did not charge George Zimmerman for 44 days, which to the black community in Florida uh, was taken as a sign that the life of this young black man did not count for much. During the final days of testimony, Zimmerman's attorneys bolstered the self-defense claim by demonstrating to jurors how they say their client was forced to fight for his life. Well, the injuries on Mr. Zimmerman's back of his head consistent with someone doing this. Prosecutors argue Martin was visiting his father's fiance and then Zimmerman picked him out for the way he was dressed in a gray hoodie similar to this one, deciding then and there that Martin was a dangerous black man who had to be stopped. Zimmerman faces life behind bars if convicted. But with a case that has touched on racial sensitivities, some Florida police departments are preparing for more protests and even violence if the verdict goes the other way. Jeff Zeldin, VOA News.